COVID is critical because this is what convinces people to accept, to legitimize total biometric surveillance. If we want to stop this epidemic, we need not just to monitor people, we need to monitor what's happening under their skin, their body temperature. Like we, we walked in here, we had to go through a, a body temperature test. Now they are using it to see whether you have the coronavirus. But exactly the same technology can determine what you think about the government. You know, anger is a biological phenomena just like disease. It's not some spiritual thing out there. It's a biological pattern in your body. With this kind of surveillance, I mean, you watch the big president, the big leader, gives a speech on television. The television could be monitoring you and knowing whether you're angry or not, just by analyzing the cues, the biological cues coming from your body. Are you angry about what you hear? Are you frightened? Are you bored? This is the kind of power that Stalin didn't have. You know, when Stalin gave a speech, everybody, of course, clapped their hand and smiled. Now, how do you know what they really think about Stalin? It's very difficult. You can't have a KGB agent following everybody all the time. Even if, even if you do it, he's just watching your outside behavior. He doesn't really know what's happening in your mind. But in 10 years, the future Stalins of the 21st century, they could be watching the minds, the brains of all the population all the time. And also they will have the computing power to analyze all that. You know, it's not just having an agent following everybody all the time. The agent in Stalin's days writes a paper report and it, you have these millions of paper reports piling up in Moscow. Somebody needs to read them, to analyze them. That's impossible. Now you don't need human agents, you don't need human analyzers, you just have a lot of sensors and an AI which analyzes it, and that's it. You have the worst totalitarian regime in history. And COVID is important because COVID legitimizes some of the crucial steps, even in democratic countries.